I'm going to take a look at these uh, two measuring devices that I've bought recently from Incra Rules. On the left you see the uh, 3 inch tiny T rule measures to 1 64th of an inch and then on the right you see part of the 12 inch T rule that also measures to 1 64th of an inch. These are made in the USA. Now I bought these off of Amazon. As you can see, you can buy these in the metric version. Now the uh, rule part of the uh, squares here are stainless steel. Your slotted guide that you see here in red are aluminum. Here you see how it's put together. You've got the rule and then on the left side you've got this slip that it uh, goes up against to keep it square to the um, to the um, aluminum piece so that way when you put it up to your stock your perpendicular here between these two surfaces and then you've got these two locking which are on nylon washers and inside you probably won't see it there you see it are two nuts and those nuts are the same width as the inside of this slot so you can easily loosen and tighten them you don't need any tools because it these the slot keeps it from turning and you can should you desire move this back and forth which within the aluminum part there Now the first thing you'll notice when you get this is how ultra precise those holes are. Unbelievably precise. Which leads me to the next point is that I didn't know, or maybe I just didn't read uh, before I bought them, you need a uh, mechanical pencil that has the lead which is 0.5 millimeters, one half millimeter in diameter. I didn't have that so I had to get one and I'll show you the importance of that why you need that and why that's required the other thing you'll see is the rule is unbelievably thin very flexible stainless So where would one use these? Definitely not for building a house. A standard uh, square would be fine. Combination square. The precision isn't needed to the accuracy of these rules. So these are when you want to do some very precise layout. Repeated. And you won't have the issues that you can get with a combination square. Uh, setting it up and ensuring that it's always the same when you're doing run-of-the-mill work they're fine but if you want to do something precise you want to uh, lay out uh, mortise and tenons or anything or just doing very precise work uh, repetitively these will do it here you see one of my many different kind of combination squares that I have and normally when I'm using these I would take and put a mark on the workpiece and then slide the blade to the mark with the pencil, whatever diameter pencil journey, a standard number two uh, pencil, lead pencil, and then just simply tighten the blade down and you're good to go if you're going to lay out and use this and run it down the board like this to make your line. But if you want to go to the next level of accuracy, then these INCRA rules definitely will do it. Now here you see that uh, mechanical pencil that I bought. This is a 0.5 millimeter, one half millimeter diameter lead that it takes. And the reason they require this is for the accuracy. Think of it as in machining. You have a tolerance. Those holes 
in the uh, INCRA rules are extremely small, okay, with with extreme little tolerance, so that when you're making a mark with this 0.5 millimeter diameter lead pencil, you won't have any slop, and I'll show you, you won't get the slop. If that hole was too big, then obviously the lead pencil would have too much movement and you'd lose all your accuracy. So, if I take this pencil and I stick it in one of these holes, there is absolutely no movement around it. Now let's take a look at that and I'll bring it in from the back side. It's right in the center there. See it? I brought it up in there. Kind of there it is. Kind of hard to do this while I'm working behind the camera, but but you see it right there. Absolutely no slop. It's right there, dead nuts. So that allows for precision marking. Just like that. So looking at the end of the 3 inch version, we see that they have notches here that are in 30 seconds. So if you want to make a line that you can, or make a mark that you can go to a line at, you would use down here. Each one of those are 30 seconds. Now the 12 inch is a bit different. You'll see it's in 30 seconds, but it's basically a rule. Looking at the 3 inch version, you'll see where the round holes are. They're in 60 fourths of an inch. Each one of those steps are 60 fourths of an inch, whether it's horizontal or vertical. Looking at the 12 inch rule, we see the 60 fourths are down here, and that the 30 seconds holes are up here. Here guys you can see where I did a layout of the long lines. I marked one, then I skipped the 64th, then another one. Skipped the 64th and another one. So each one of those long lines are skipped by a 64th of an inch. These short hash marks were with the 16th inch on the uh, scale. And then I just went every 16th of an inch that you see there. Here you see I made a perpendicular line to the edge of the board using the tiny T3 inch as a square. These INCRA rules made in the United States would be a fine addition to any woodworker's arsenal of tools when you're looking for the ultimate in precision layout and marking.